everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today I am in trouble because I got a transcend. I really tried hard not to order a transcend, but there were things that I wanted and things that I regret sending back in my last transcend that I want again. Now she didn't send anything back that she had previously sent, but she sent some new items, mostly what I would consider fall transition, which actually I'm okay with because it were items that were on my wish list and I requested and I really like them. Okay, so first, what is Transcend? Transcend is a styling service by the brick and mortar store called Ever Eve. You pay them a $20 styling fee. They'll curate a box of items. Shipping is free both ways. Keep what you want, send back what you don't. That $20 gets applied to your box. I have this love-hate relationship with Transcend. Their prices are expensive. <laughs> a little bit out of my budget. So I have to be very careful with what I keep and make sure that it, I, it is something that I like. Use my link. I believe it's you get $25 off and I get $25 off. Not 100% positive about that. Um, one thing I wanted to point out today, because I did get another comment on another video, I purchase all these clothes myself. There's very few things that I get sponsored. And believe me, there it's not every that's sponsoring me. It's not Macy's Loft, White House Black Market. They're smaller brands maybe sold on Amazon, but they're not major brands that anyone would know about. Ooh, you hear that thunder? <laughs> all right, so on with what I got. All right, the first thing that was on my list that I'm probably not going to try on only because um, there's so many other things I like. These are the Squiggle Drop Earrings in gold slash lab, one size by Ever Eve. I got 20% off this box. That means somebody used my referral link. That's what it is, 20%. You get 20% off, I get 20% off. Um, and use my referral link. Thank you so much. And I end up getting these for a price of $30.40. The regular price is $38. Like I said, I like them. I just don't think I need to have them at this point. So we'll, we'll see. We'll play around with prices towards the end, but I'm probably not going to try those on. The next thing that she sent, and she you sent this for me to have it as a pullover, it's the Jones, uh, under like an undershirt, the Jones Rib Tank in white, size extra small by LNA. My price, $54.40. The original price is $68. This is a thick white tank. I do like the name brand LNA. The material on this, it's 95% RAM, 5% spandex. It's machine wash, cold, gentle cycle with lying colors, tumble dry low. Um, I do like this tank, but it, you know, a white tank is not special enough for the price for me. All right, I'm trying to be uh, conservative with my money. Okay, so what did she pair this tank with? Well, she paired them with the pair of jeans that I would really like. These are the Ever, Eve high rise straight in the color, I believe this is the color possibilities. Let's see. No, sociable. And the color is sociable. They're regularly $128. My price $102.40. They're a very dark wash. And let me see if I can find what they're made out of. They are made out of 68% cotton, 28% reprieve polyester, 3% rayon, and 1% spandex. Um, it's nothing like, the material mix is not something I would like, but I you don't feel the polyester. To me, these do feel like a 98% cotton, 2% spandex mix. So I'll give these a shot, but I'm not very hopeful on these. Um, they also look rather long, and I'm looking for something more of an ankle length, and I'm only five foot two, so. Probably not on those. Now to get to the items that I really want. <laughs> this is by, let's see, Design History. It's 98% rayon, 20% nylon, and it is, what's it say, hand wash? No, I can't, yeah, no, machine wash cold only. No, sorry, yeah, machine wash cold only. Non-chlorine, oh, only non-chlorine bleach would lay, needed lay flat to dry. So this is a cute, I would call it mauve. It just has some more brown to it. Little point tail sweater. It's almost like a Henley style where the buttons go down, but not all the way down. So it's not a cardigan. Oh, it's super soft, super cute, real thin knit sweater to wear, you know, it gets a little bit chillier. 
Love it, love it. All right, so this is, let's see, by, who is this by? Design History. This is the Cast Pointel Pullover in Rusty Chut, is what they're calling it. 86.40 is my price. The retail price on this is $108. So this is where I'm saying I have to really chew, pick and choose. Next up, another sweater I really like. And I know you're like, what's so great about it, Carol? It's a beige sweater. But it's a beige sweater with, look at this detail, all right? So it's like one of those, almost like a mauve, but I would say it's more like a taupe in there, like an almost like a basket weave, almost kind of like, but not quite a basket weave. It is definitely different knits and texture. And it is a sweater cardigan, but short sleeves with a little puff sleeve and the banded cuff. And this is by Ever Eve. And this one is the Cade Puff Cardigan in Move Multi. So they are calling this Move. Um, again, 108 is the retail price. My price is 86.40. Love it. We'll try it on. Hopefully it works. Okay, next up, they sent another pair of jeans, which are the same style jeans. Again, these are the color uh, possibilities. They're the high rise ever straight and my price 102.40, original price 138. I believe they're made even about the same material. Let me make sure. Yes, 68% cotton, 21% polyester, 9% rayon, 2% spandex. They're in black. I did tell her I was looking for a loose fitting pair of black jeans. So these may work for me, but again, if I have to choose something, it's going to be the sweaters and not the jeans because jeans I can get anywhere. The sweaters are very unique. <laughs> Next up is this design history sweater. Completely adorable. So the, the body is a sweater knit and the sleeves are a poplin. It has ties here that are really cute. And this is by design history. Let's see if I can read what the material is. 80% rayon, 20% nylon, and the sleeves are 100% cotton. I got this, all my sizes are an extra small. So this is an extra small. This looks really small to me, to be honest with you. The Taylor pull, Puff Pullover in black, extra small by Design History. Again, my price, 86.40. So every sweater is 86.40, and all the bottoms are 102.40. And that's with the 20% discount. Love this sweater, but I do have things kind of similar. So if something has to be put up and said no and put aside, it will probably be this. Next up, this is the Lane Ring Detail Top in brown, size extra small for $54.40. This is just a knit rib top with like a little ring detail here as it's described. It is the color of brown, but it's almost like a, a reddish brown. Um, again, colors that I absolutely love. And let me see if I can find what this is made out of. 61% polyester, 31% cotton, 8% spandex. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I didn't say the basket weave sweater, what that one was made out. I'll give you that in a minute. Okay. This is really cute too. Like it. And the basket weave sweater was a cotton poly mix, but let's see if I can give you the percents. Uh, 55% cotton, sorry, 45% acrylic, okay? And I don't feel the acrylic in here at all. I feel cotton. Love this sweater. Hoping it fits. All right, give me a minute. I'll do a try on. Okay, so first up, I have the LNA tank on. Now, this is a thick rib double line tank. There is no question about it that this is a much better quality than I would ever buy at Loft or Target. But that, again, I, I still don't can't justify the price for this tank uh, i think i said it was 59.60 um it is like i said very nice quality um it helps cover the lumps and bumps because it's double lined in front and back but it's not something i'll keep the jeans all right first they're button fly which is really cool i like that they are not a crop dummy i would say they're they're exactly full length on me uh, they're a very dark wash. I do like them and I did say I need a pair of dark wash non-distressed straight leg crop jeans So like I said, they're not cropped on me because I'm only five foot two But these would fit the bill as to what I wanted. I really like them um, I might actually want it just slightly darker because these are almost black They're a little bit too dark that I want. I know I'm being really picky <laughs> 
but these are our nice jeans and I do like them, but I think I'm going to be sending these back. All right, give me a minute and I'll pop on the sweater. Okay, first sweater up is the Ever Eve sweater. I believe it was the cast sweater. And I'll have all my links uh, down below it, it listed there so you can see in the description exactly what I received. I love this. This is just so cute and so me. So it is like a mauve or a light pink. Let me again come close so you can see the colors. I think it's so pretty. And, you know, it has the buttons down here on the front. It's, it's a, a medium weight. I wouldn't say it's a thick weight, but it's not a very lightweight sweater. And let me know your thoughts. This is my own jacket. It's, uh, I think, a cut from the cloth or is it Liverpool? I forget. This is a Liverpool jacket, okay? And it's mauve. So let me know what you think of this together. The sweater and the jacket. I mean, the colors go, but does it look funny with the buttons and a jacket and a, a, a sweater? I don't know. But yeah, so I figured if it gets cool, I can always throw on this jacket and it makes it yet another outfit. Um, the sweater's mine, no question about it. I'm keeping it. Let me take the jacket off so you can see the back of the sweater. You know, it has the banded bottom, the buttons down the front. It is like, again, textured with the different fabrics and it has some move in it, banded cuff here. And I guess it's like almost like a, a light, 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 light peach or ivory. I love this sweater. All right, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to be putting the sweater in my closet, and I'll be trying on the next sweater. Okay, the next one is this design history sweater. Um, it does have like a longed banded cuff here. Not very long, but a little bit longer, so it's giving a little bit of this balloon effect. It is point tail with like a diamond type pattern sewn in the, the material. It does have a Henley style with buttons down the front. The buttons, are they working? No, these seem to be correct, just for show buttons. It is form-fitting, all right? That's one thing for sure. It's not very forgiving. I mean, but I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I do like this sweater. It's, it's extremely soft, extremely comfortable. Let's see. What do we think of this, these two together? Let me put this on. I don't think this goes, but let me put it on and see how I like it. Let's put it on, see how I like it. And I don't like it. So no to the jacket on this one. But I do like this color. It's one of my, I'm really attracted to like um, the brownish, reddish, purplish family. So that, that in between colors that you can't figure out. Like this is, has some purplish, reddish, brownish to, hues to it. And I really like it. And I have nothing like it. So I think I'm going to keep it. All right, give me a minute and I'll try on the other pair of jeans and the top. Give me a second. All right, I have to say, believe it or not, it was pouring rain just a little while ago and now it is a sunshiny day. <laughs> this is crazy weather here. All right, so I have on the other design history sweater and I do have to say that these sweaters do run small. If you're in between sizes, size up. Again, I wouldn't size up on this because I'm afraid it would be too big and too sloppy. So it's not very forgiving around the tummy. I'm okay with that. Um, I like this sweater a lot, a lot, a lot. But I have this top, which is not a sweater, it's a t-shirt. But it has that same type of different sleeve detail. No ties, but the organza sleeve. And... I just kind of feel it's, it's almost duplicative. And if I have to make some, some choices, then this is gonna have to go back and it's gonna have to wait again in the future. So Allie, thank you very much for sending me this sweater. Uh, if you're watching this video, I really appreciate it. I love this sweater. It is on my list and it's gonna stay on my list because I might want you to send it in my next box. <laughs> So right now, I'm going to think I'm going to keep those first two sweaters. The one is already hanging in my closet. The other one, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping as well. The jeans, love these jeans too. Um, you know, again, I, I, it's, it's, this is a hard box. These are the same exact pair of jeans as the other ones. I don't think I would keep both pairs. I would only keep one pair. They're not exactly what I had in mind as far as a loose fitting jean. And there is some distressing over here, but it is so minimal. I mean, I could easily wear these to work. Well, there is a little bit of distressing here. I think that's one thing I would want is 
something without distressing, but you know what? It's like, how often do I go into the office? And honestly, if I went into the office with this little bit of distressing, who cares? Um, like they're just like the other ones. There's a hidden button fly, extremely comfortable, perfect length, like them a lot. And it's just, I just have to make some decisions. And my decisions are those two sweaters. I still have that one top on and to try on. Let's try that on now and make up my mind. Oh, and I never show you the back of the sweater. Okay. And these do untie, but they seem to be pretty tied pretty tight and don't look like they've rest, run the risk of untying. Let me come a little closer to so you can see. Again, this is sweater material and then this is poplin. All right. Very, very cute. All right. Give me a minute. The last top is coming on. Okay. I have on the brown knit top now. So I didn't even tuck it in. As you see, it is like a more form-fitting top, really no need to tuck it in. It is double layered, so it, it's kind of giving you some forgiveness here in the tummy. Plus, I don't think it's quite as tight as the other one is. It has the O-ring here and an asymmetrical neckline, which I like, it makes it different. This is a, a pricier tank. I think I said $59.40 or $59.60 or $58.60, something like that. But it, this one I'd be willing to spend the money on because it's unique. You know, how often are you going to find an asymmetrical tank with an O-ring <laughs> and then in this color? Whereas the other one was just white tank, right? So this I would spend the money on versus the white tank. And I know some people don't think that same way. They say, well, the white tank you can wear multiple times and you get more use out, cost per wear. But for me, I look for things that are unique to add to my wardrobe. And if they're special enough to me, I tend to add them. So I really do like this. Again, this is going to stay on my wish list. I think it's just at this time, I'm just going to have to send it back due to budgetary constraints. Um, one thing I do want to point out is because I'm short, I have to be careful when I put this on and not pull it down too far because it will show my bra. But if I just like adjust it a little bit, it will stay up like this. And I'll come closer so you can see where it hits, okay? So there's no bra showing there. That is just skin. And I don't think this is very, like, sexy at all. I think it's kind of just unique. You know, it's not showing any cleavage. Yeah, it's a little cut out, but it's not showing anything. And if I put a jacket over this, it's, like, you know, perfectly acceptable attire. All right, here is the back of it. In case you're interested in what the back looks like. The back is only single lined. It's not double lined. So love this too. Oh God, this, this box is hard and it's going to break my heart sending the jeans and this top back and that's black sweater back, but I just can't afford all these things and my husband's birthday and what I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it uh, doing this try on. Um, and again, hopefully these things eventually go on sale or I can afford them in future boxes. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? Click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me and give me a thumbs up. Take care. Till next time.